Hey guys, Forceware Studios here, back with more Spellweaver. And today, we have Care Bears. With Akis and Frosty. Yes. More with Frosty and Akis. No. Yes. So, Care Bears, this is a list we've covered a few times, though it's got a few new things to play with. Dial again. You know, innkeepers and whatnot. So, it's a little bit more updated. Utilizes Nieva with the Reverence ability to just basically always have cards in your hand. You got three Sun Blessed Priests, just a 2 2 with Lifebound. Level 1 creature, useful for Diogen. You can distill it if you need to. Four Steel Nor Innkeepers, just 2 2. Stupefy can hit a large amount of creatures. And shuffling a whole bunch of creatures back into the library is pretty good when we can draw a bunch of cards from those creatures, so always having a full library is good for that. Makes whiffing harder. Four Cavalry Field Captain, pump something, enters the field, can be instilled. Four and still lifes. Since it's back to its nice one order level, it's nice enough to use <laughs> with the Nieva ability. Two silver fangs, deadly against creatures of evil. He's a good boy. Three Gurkha tribe shamans, pump something. You know, cataclysm and whatnot protection. Three tidal waves. This is like the only card in the deck Daugan can return for us. Not normally what he's used for though. It allows us to sometimes be able to pick off the creatures on the back row or disable a blocker for a turn and it cycles itself so it's reasonable I feel, like, I feel like it's a very niche card but when it when you need it oh my goodness it is a lifesaver for brother in arms this works well with nieva's hero ability because it plays the second creature which allows you to draw a card for the low cost of one mana you get the two creatures and two cards with her hero ability other than that not really relevant Good enough to divine extra copies away. Four summoner druids makes things cheaper, allows us to power out our hero ability earlier by making things free. Two venerated unicorn. Unicorn? <laughs> Two venerated unicorns. These destroy problematic spells. Always good to have a few. Two master hunters. This is another way to pick off those annoying flying creatures by giving all our things reach. We have a few ways to give might emblems, so. It's not just his valor that's giving us the effect for it. Two Life Force Incarnates. Not as good as it once was. Still reasonable enough because it returns one creature. And because we have Steel Nor Innkeeper, sometimes you can make sure that the card you want is the card you're getting because you can just cycle the rest of the creatures away. But at the same time, she also just dies to opposing Steel Nor Innkeepers, so you don't really get much value from her. But reasonable to have two. Three Diogen, Wandering Pilgrim. Always a great card. So we can return a card with cost one or less, which is basically this ti these tidal waves, or just a shrine. And because we have so much usage for a mana, having the extra card is pretty reasonable. And sometimes you can just get a Trigon on the pack and pump something. And of course, giving all the level one creatures Valor one is excellent. And other than that, we just have the bunch of Trigon as a shrine. Trigon of the pack for our spell shrines. So let's see how this goes in game one. Hmm. This is the opponent we're playing in game one. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Shut up. I just realized that after. Do you know how little I actually look at the screen when we're playing? Hmm. He's got a silver ticket. This is the opponent we're playing in game one. Yes. He's also got. The puppy background. Nice. I think we'll keep this. The trans a puppy. Transform puppy. Yes. For when he gets angry. You wouldn't like it when he's angry. Riveting start. Uh, order. Order. Kenzie, I was expecting that. Don't really see white purple a whole lot soldiers no not really i don't think it'd be soldiers no oh it might well, be well there's a soldier <laughs> could be soldier right now that's probably the best guess my best guess yes good thing we're playing a puppy which has uh not protection from evil. Um, Deadly against creatures of evil, which yes. is, there's no evil creature on the field, so cool. that wouldn't really matter. But hey, we'll leave behind our shaman. He can accomplish something. 
Yeah, um, initially when you did that, I'm like, what are you doing? There's no point in... If you're just gonna throw him in, there's no point in pumping him with Gurkha. And then I realized, that, yeah, there is actually. Ooh. Oh. The Mistress of Shadows. Is that a soldier card? Or is that an elf? Elf assassin. It's an elf assassin, okay. This is a card I've tried to get to work. No but luck? It's it's interesting, but sometimes it hurts you too much. Mm. It really depends. So a 3-3 is a pretty decent body. Now what do we do? If... I was gonna <laughs> ask that. You know what? It's worth it for science just to know. Gurkha. We might want to instill life. And oh, it's an enemy creature, right? Mm. We can't stupefy our own creatures. Yeah, I guess it does switch over to your side, so. That means then that we should play Gurkha onto this guy too. Because <laughs> otherwise he'll just be food. Mm hmm. Here. And he can pump one. How annoying. Dang. I mean, at least we can get to the mirror, but. Not in a very good position here, but. It's an okay position. Mm, it's look, not a great position. Looking at your hand, I don't think it's that great, but. Calvary Field can at least allow us to get that Amir yeah. off the field. For sure. But that might not necessarily be a good thing if he has still lives and whatnot. I mean, we'll find out. Probably. Probably pretty quick, yes. Not going to play the Sunblast? No, better to save it for a reverence. Oh, right. I guess that's coming And out. actually trying to establish a board position. Yeah, that makes sense. Actually, yeah, that's probably a better call. I need to have that three. Oh. Hmm... We're not too worried about that, honestly. In still life, yes. Oh, it's a level two or less, so we're really not worried about that. A holy radiance. Or holy radiance. Uh, doesn't really mean much. Uh, but I have a venerated unicorn. And that'll be nice. Will it though? It will. Herm her aww. Very. Four beats. Yeah. It's a lot of beats. It's a fair amount. Hmm. I think we're gonna use this for the level this turn. And do we just... Yeah, I think we just go for it. So... Now yeah, it's something. You're a little late to the party, but unfortunately, still yeah, definitely still worth it. Just too bad you didn't have him. Mm -hmm. Even a creature earlier. A level one creature to follow that Daugan would have been amazing. Yeah, would have for sure. Asking a little much. What kind of answers does he got now? All the answers. Probably. 
like a holy radiance. It's just going to. Then we just life force and pray. Uh, yeah, I know. But he does clear most of the board anyway, and we can't really do anything. So. Yeah, that's easily clearing the board now. Mm. Mm. <laughs> he gets damage in. Did he really, though? Because he did kind of heal back up. It's true, but yeah, that's, oh. that's just too many things. There's nothing we're getting out of this. <laughs> yeah. You don't have any board wipes or anything, it just got two out of hand for you. Yep. Let's see how it goes in game two. Game two against Dark Burr. Oh man, I actually like this hand, but draw again. There's nothing you can do with it. Yeah, I kind of need shrines to get it to work. That's actually not too bad, I guess. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's reasonable. Dragon of the Pact. Are so, you playing Order, or are you playing uh, Nature? So the question is, he's probably got an Octo Fumes. So do we put out Puppy or Sunblast? Sunblast. I think that's correct. Because if he doesn't and we Gurko it, it'll be amazing. But if he does, we still have a deadly creature. Now for that, do we Tidal Wave that away? I think we do. I mean, you have three tidal waves. Um, you could get away with it. And you get to draw a card now. Push. That's like gotta gain a bit of life. And now that's a wasted turn for the rotting flesh. Sort of. Yeah, sort of. I guess. No, it 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 is. Sort of. <laughs> and another rotten flesh. Nope, it's a tomb of the dam. That was Turns out we needed that unicorn. That I shuffled away. Yeah, I'm I'm actually I am a little surprised you shuffled away unicorn, but I figured you knew what you were doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I mean you also have another unicorn and you had a tidal wave. Boing. Just gonna keep moving that forward. Well, why wouldn't you, right? Now, the correct play is probably Calvary Field Captain and Unicorn next turn. Oh, that's a tad bit. On the bright side, can't attack this turn. Even if it could. Still had Gurko, I guess, but it's not the point. Now, I think we... Wow. <laughs> no. Wow. Are you? No. No. There's no point. Summoner Druid. Make things cheap. Venerated Unicorn. Goodbye. I like how you almost screwed that up. Wait, what are you doing? That... Those trades. Oh, right, 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 right. It's a rotten flesh and then. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just like, what are you doing? No, that's. Now, do we get a shrine or do we get a tidal wave? We still have a tidal wave, so I think we get a shrine. Honestly, those tidal waves. I mean, they did kept something. Pushing them back. Plus, at this point in the game, Tidal Wave has value because if there's something you need to set up for with like an extra shrine or something, you push it back, get an extra card draw. Yeah. Hands from beyond. Such Please a annoying that. card. Yes. Thank you. I need you to do that. So thank you very much. That was... Quite convenient for you. And still like do, do, do. Very convenient for you. Find an emblem on that. Now we'll get a title wave. Nice. 
think Gurkha is the weakest here. Gurkha was never the weakest. Don't think he needed two tidal waves. I would probably have gotten rid of one. I would, and I would have got a shrine in that case. And I divined. That's okay. I think we want two tidal waves. Yeah. Because this is going to be a succubus. And then we just push it forward. Yeah, actually, I guess, field I guess they are playing corruption, so succubus is very likely. Oh, wow. Brother in arms. Silver Fang. Draw a card. And put a Mighty Elemental on that. Make okay. the next creature cheap. It's going to be this Brother in Arms. Draw more cards. And... A Sunblast Priest. Make the Mighty Elemental on that. Dang. Beats. Suffocate. <laughs> Suffocate would be horrible here because he's shrunk oh, all our yeah, dudes. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> it really wouldn't do much. No, I guess it wouldn't. I, I realize that. Yeah, those cards I, are kind of mutually exclusive, unfortunately. I just realized that right after I said it. I was like, oh my I mean, god. Hey, you can do that. You can get rid of those brother in arms. Got rid of two creatures with that. That one consume. Fortunately, he's still only got a 2-2 on mm -hmm. my turn, though. Even if he has some other kind of threat. We can just push him away. And if he somehow managed to fight through everything with three mana, you have two <laughs> instill lives that you can use. Exactly. I think you got this one. If you don't, I I don't... You obviously <laughs> misplayed something bad. Hard. More than once, at least. Eh, yeah, Death Curse Shaman. Yeah, if this, we'll just push that away. It's not a problem anymore. And recovery field. <laughs> Just gaining so all five, of six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So we were one short there, so we just needed one of the other pumps in our hand. Yeah, but they also realized they were, there's yeah. nothing they could really do. Victory! And let's see how it goes in game three. Game three against Death Gel. I think we'll keep this. It's not super exciting, but it does it does work. It does some things. That's good enough. Does it though? Corruption, interesting. A lot of shrines. That's not like you. No, it's definitely not like me. <laughs> Usually you're clinging and hoping <laughs> that you get a shrine like twelve turns in, which should not really happen too much. The slaves are rebelling, and also that's not a card I was expecting to get cast ever. Also, to be honest. Also, how is a spirit still a slave? Because it's chained by ghostly chains. And apparently physical chains if you look in the Do background. The Orzhov and magic, you know? Nope. They're, they're like this nice church slash bank group that gives nice debts and loans. And hey, if you die, we'll just enslave your ghost until, you know, it can pay off its loans. Wow. I don't think you're going to draw any other card this game. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to. You kidding me? There's a there's an inch, there's a ghost on the, yeah, other, side. A ghost on the other side. She probably lived through World War Two. I mean maybe. She has the experience. No brother in arms? Nah. Because it's just going to get noxious. Or something. Yeah, or assassinate or God knows what. Could be anything with these color combo. Got like the most removal on both sides. Could be anything. Like an assassinate. Like an assassinate. Spoiled aristocrat into a an infected zombie? Survivor. Or just an infected zombie? I mean, hey. You get some work done. That one beat. It's getting you there. And it's almost like it has life bound because he can sacrifice it now to gain one life. Mm-hmm. I think 
Therefore, Master Hunter here. Just think of all that life gain. Also, it stops Assassinate and Noctur's Fumes, so... Well, not against your Master Hunter. Yeah, not against that, but against the one with life back, which is just going to be annoying for him. Mm -hmm. And if he can answer this, then hey, it's a ranged thing that can deal with that. There's not really a point in aiming for that, though, because then it'll just sack it for one life and you miss out on... Yeah, it's clearly better to attack because he can't block and then sack it to gain the life. Mm -hmm. But, for instance, if it's going to block like this or something, maybe it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Vampirism. Slowly going to turn everything into vampires. Except we're probably just going to clear his board this turn. I mean, you could do that. Or you could destroy that vampirism with a unicorn. We're going to clear his board this turn. Oh, you meant, you meant actually like clear he the whole thing. didn't sack to gain a life, interesting. And That's hmm. what you meant by clear the board. Like literally everything. Yeah, it's gone. There's no board anymore. Well, there is, just not on his half. Yeah. <gasps> the slaves are rebelling and he's going to hate us. <laughs> yeah, you can have that. What slaves? Oh, I'm sorry. We just have another unit. You know, the <laughs> funny thing is, it doesn't even matter because you can just, you could have just equalized it out with Brother in Arms too. Well, no, like, the Brother in Arms would have been slaves. Oh, like, oh, crap, yeah, 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 yeah. sorry, I, I was, slaves, right, 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 But yeah, that's, I think we've answered most of his threats. Yeah, he didn't have a bad <laughs> hand, just we had the answers to it. Yeah, we kind of just had all the answers, so. That is our victory. And yeah, that was Care Bears. Did okay. Not against the silver ticket, but I mean, they're clearly the far better player if they have earned a silver ticket. And yeah, with that, I guess we'll see y'all next time. Bye!